Hi everyone. At this very challenging time, the staff and curator, curator team of Assam State Museum has been making every effort to reach out to our, our esteemed museum visitors, mainly to interact with local heritage, heritage of Assam based on Assam State Museum. We will be bringing out series of lectures on various aspects of heritage, history, and culture of Assam, one after another in the days to come. Today, I'm introducing Assam State Museum. As you all know, Assam State Museum is one of the premier museums in our country, India. It has been established in the year Uh, 1940, 21st April 1940, by Kamrupa Anusatan Samiti, Assam Research Society, and it has been inaugurated by Sir Robert Neil Reid, the then Governor of Undivided Assam. The museum has now completed. 80 years of its yeoman service to the people. Currently, it has more than 20,000 relics, artifacts, and sculptures being kept and displayed in Assam State Museum. We have 13 galleries in Assam State Museum. The galleries are Stone Sculpture Gallery, Arms and Armory, Manuscript Gallery, Epigraphy Gallery, Numismatic Gallery, Pre and Proto History Gallery, Pre and Proto History Gallery, including Indus Valley Civilization, Textile Gallery, Woodcraft Gallery, Freedom Fighters Gallery, Painting Gallery, Assam Village Life Gallery, and Ethnography Gallery. We have a very rich collection in Ethnographic Gallery, and it is one of the best Ethnographic Gallery in India, having so rich ethnic groups in this region. As you are aware, beside the dominant groups like Poro Kachari, Karpi, Timasa, Missing, Teori, we have also so many smaller groups like Hajong, Jagma, Kashi, Karo, many smaller tribes of Kuki. Jeminaka, Rongmenaka, even we have uh, smaller groups belonging to Kachin Thai groups, Kamyang, Aidon, Pake. So, in this way, in terms of ethnographic and ethnic groups, Assam is the richest in the region. Then, coming to archaeological objects as we have shown here in the background dancing shiva this is one of the most iconic objects in assam state museum this is unearthed from ambari ambari is a very unique archaeological site it has different objects belonging to different phase it can be broadly divided into two phase First phase belonging to smaller objects, different divinities. It has been made very small, but very unique in sandstone. So it is portable. Most of these smaller groups belongs to 
9th century, then we have so many large life-size images like Shiva in dancing, Vishnu, Agni, Surya, all this belongs to later part of, uh, later phase of stone sculpture, later part of medieval period. So here in Assam, we have Gupta art sculptures. One of the finest is the Torchem of Ta Parvitya found in Tespur. That is one of the finest edifice of Gupta art in subcontinent of our country. Then we have different art forms and architecture belonging to Salastamba period. That is 19th century AD. Then we have in uh, Deobani, Surapathar, we have localized stone art culture. The themes are of classical Indian art, but body and forms are embodied in regional feature and character, so it has ethnic look. Then we have many smaller objects, terracotta objects, beautiful terracotta objects of a dancing girl from Ambari. These are very unique and uh, aesthetically of high quality. Then coming to manuscript, I just want to highlight a few aspects that Assam has a long tradition of manuscript painting. Probably we can trace from 7th century Kumar Paskaran reign. Kumar Paskaran had gifted present to Harshavartan, contemporary king of Northern India, and the record has been clearly written in Harsha Kerita. It is a 7th century chronicle written by Panap Panapata. So in that record, along with the Kif, beautiful manuscript written in a leaf made of aloe bark, along with use of a right cucumber color. So that is one of the important aspect of manuscript tradition in Assam. Continuing from that period, coming down to Sri Srimanta Sankaradeva had made a lot of improvement in refinement. One of the best work related with cosmology, philosophy and religion is Anadi Padana, written by Sri Manta Sankaradeva and his follower. And the unique feature of this manuscript is all the painting that has been illustrated is related with the text of the manuscript. So this painting tradition on Aloha, Aloha Park, we also call it Sanji Park, that is very unique. So these are the important tradition and culture. And beside that, Assam State Museum has a very rich collection of coins belonging to different kingdoms and uh, principalities. So we have coins from God's kingdom. We have coins from Kajari kingdom. We have uh, Sultanate coins. Even we have coins inscripted with Persian script. And we have very rich collection of Ahom coins in uh, gold, silver, and bronze. So in this way, in terms of variety, in terms of culture, in terms of ethnographic collection, Assam State Museum is one of the richest and 
one of the best museums in our country. And this historical perspective connecting from 5th century down to present day, we want to enlighten, especially among the younger generation, especially students who are now confined in their respective localities and home. So with this curatorial team, we are making effort to reach out in the days to come and all the curators will bring different aspects of heritage in the days to come. And I hope we have enlightened a little bit and we are making every effort to reach out in a much better and uh, uh, better manner in the days to come. Thank you.